Okay, and there's nothing around this corner. Okay. Yeah, okay, is that Pyramid Head maybe? Sounds a bit splashy for Pyramid Head, but uh, okay. Or could that just be a lying figure? Oh, okay, lying figure. Oh. Okay, is there another, or is there Pyramid Head? Okay. Uh, probably didn't need to kill both of those to be fair. Oh, oh god. Oh. Come on, shoot it. Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, take some of my 357 Magnum. Well, wow, it's just a, a 9mm, but okay. We're close. Yeah, okay, more dead ends. So this does look a bit like an apartment building, doesn't it? Oh. See, that's not fair, like... I can't even see what's right in front of me, like, they shouldn't be spitting at me. Okay. So, is there another place to go down here? Or what's the deal? Oh, okay, is this a dead end? Is it not a bit weird that there's like giant caves and stuff down here? Because like it's almost like a real building, but then you go down ladders into what appear to be caves. Uh, well, it looks like mines, doesn't it, a bit? Like, well, it's probably a bit too clean for a mine. Like, too, uh... The rooms are too shapely, sort of thing. They look like, like regular rooms, don't they? Or corridors do, these areas. Uh, but the fact there are these large supports and like rock faces feels very much like you're in a mine of some kind. Oh. Oh. Jesus, two of them at once. Okay, and that worked apparently. So is this supposed to symbolise something? Me going up and down ladders constantly? Okay. Oh, okay, this looks like a progress point. I think this is uh, Angela stuff, isn't it? The body of a man later identified as Thomas... Isn't it a Roscoe, I think? Yeah, like well, the probable cause of death was multiple stab wounds to the front of the neck and the left side of the torso by a sharp edged weapon.
the police uh, suspect that the motive was not robbery. But that it was a crime of passion. No, was not robbery of crime of passion. Yeah, no, I don't get what what we should say there. Oh shit, there he is. So wait, where does this take us? Oh. See, that was an odd line. Maybe I'm just not clicking right. But what was it supposed to say there? Because it essentially was saying it wasn't a robbery, it's a crime of passion, but it was like, of crime of passion? Oh, okay, there's nothing here. Wait, why can I hear a lying figure? That's weird. Okay, so we did encounter Pyramid Head. Though he's acting a bit weird. Let's have a look at that again, actually. What do we think could go in there? Furthermore, given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Orozco, is it, had a history of drunkenness and violence, the police suspect that the motive was not robbery, something of crime of passion. I would have thought it would, it would say, was not robbery. Uh, but rather a crime of passion. Yeah, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just not getting it. So this is the Angela boss coming up. Eee, this is a bit icky. Well, once you realise what's going on, it's a, a lot icky. Good boss fight though. Well, like a good bit of story the boss fight itself I think is uh, not the greatest but then that's uh, that's Silent Hill 2 all over isn't it I'm afraid so we use the rifle on this fucker oh oh dear Oh, God, he's really humping my head, isn't he? That's not good. <laughs> oh, come on, James. Really? Seriously, he has range with that thing, doesn't he? So we'll reload um, in the menu, like a smart person, uh, and then we'll keep trying to attack him. Please die. Oh god. Not wall on my face. Oh, there we go, I think. 
Yep. Oh dear. Are you okay? I think she'd be a little more grateful. So the abstract dad is essentially uh, Angela's abusive dad. Is it stepdad? Dad? I think dad. I'm not trying to order you. But obviously, or at least I think, she sees her actual dad rather than the monster James sees. She's kind of on to him there, isn't she? Uh, Jesus, look how, mu how much health I used. Guess I should have used an ampule or something. Oh dear. But yeah, that's an interesting boss fight. Um, Like, it just comes out of nowhere, doesn't it, really? Uh, but the stuff with Angela is really interesting. Because, like, she's somewhere between a uh, victim and also monster. And she's so young as well. Which is something that's super easy to forget, because she sounds like a, a middle-aged woman. Okay, I seem to remember we're supposed to pull one of these somehow. Um, oh, okay. Does it help us with that, maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Let's have a read of these. So that's a murderer, I guess. Kidnapper. Thief. Uh, like swindler or embezzler or something. Counterfeiter. Oh, uh, okay, it's the last one, isn't it? I seem to remember now. I 
Only the sinless one can help you here. Mistakenly pull on a criminal's rope and your reward will be returned to you in a shape of... Oh, in a shape most wondrously strange. So I think it basically spawns monsters um, if you pull the wrong one. Was it that one? It's the arsonist one we want, isn't it? 